Hey, what's up, guys? Gons here with this week's word of encouragement. It comes from Revelation 22, verses 10 through 13. Here's what it says. And he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is near. Let the evil doer still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me, to repay each one for what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Now, this is obviously at the end of John's vision in the book of Revelation. This is the last chapter of the Bible. And the angel of the Lord here pretty much tells John not to seal up the words of the prophecy because the time is near. And then he says, those who are evil will continue to be evil. Those filthy will continue to be filthy. And those who are right and holy will continue to be right and holy. And so just hold tight because he is coming back soon to repay each one for what he has done. And then he proclaims, I am the Alpha, the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. And this really speaks to a couple things. First off, God showed us what's going to happen in the end here. And that's why I think he told John, don't seal up this prophecy. So all the things written in the book of Revelation are going to happen. Second, what we can gain from this idea of let evil doers still do evil, etc., etc., is that at a certain level, we're not going to be able to control or change the behavior and the things other people do around us. We're responsible for our own actions. And while we can influence others, inform others with truth, ultimately each individual is responsible for their own lives. And ultimately, Jesus will return to judge these actions. And the reason why I picked this passage is because I want it to encourage you as you go this week. And undoubtedly, you're going to run into people, some who you're familiar with, some maybe who you're not so familiar with, who are doing things that are evil or filthy, or others who are doing right and holy things. And just realize that in that moment, in that situation, you have a choice to participate or not. But keep in mind that there is one that is coming who is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, who will repay each for what he has done. So this isn't some kind of religious tally or anything like that. What I'm suggesting is that ultimately our actions are responsible to God and that's the most important relationship that we can have. But also understand that because the world is going crazy right now, it's easy to get caught up and sort of emotional or freak out over what might happen next. But just keep in mind that God's in control. He gave this vision to John for a reason. And of course, there's different interpretations of how to read the book of Revelation. But ultimately, the big point here in this encouragement video is that God is in control. And within that, we are in control of our own decisions. And the best decision that we can make moment to moment is to kneel before God and give everything to him. Hope you have an awesome week. God bless.